Hello, it's Dale here. Today I'm going to show you uh, on the embellisher, cotton scrim. You know, somebody said, it wasn't me, that the cotton scrim in the embellisher was a partnership made in heaven. And uh, this is cotton scrim we sell at hand dyed. Uh, it's also called cotton gauze, which is very um, fiery, um, you know, flexible and so on. And it can, you can use it in lots and lots of ways in your work to manipulate, but I love using it on here. So keep droning on about this. And this is some um, scrim on a pre-felt, on a flimsy. And just... That's enough of the noise. Just to show you, when you push those fibres through, you can see it's open, weave and loose. And you have to work quite hard to do this. But then you get this texture that comes up onto the other side. Now, um, and you, you won't get that in any, you can't do that on your sewing machine unless you put loose, uh, put threads in the bobbin and don't um, put them through the feeds and things and let it ooze out. But this is a very easy way to create a wonderful texture. So this is a piece that I might work on. You can see I've done it some, and then I might cut it and weave it. But I'll show you what you can do just with scrim on its own. This is another one that I've done on a piece of pre-felt. That's the back, and I've also hand-stitched into it as well. And then when you turn it over the other side and start working it from the back, you can see how that texture comes up. And my hand-stitching comes up as part of it as well. So if you look this side, yeah, I've stitched all around the shapes. I've cut them out for something else, I forget now. But uh, anyway, they're there if I want to lay them over something as a viewfinder to create layers and so on. But if you just take the... Um, Scrim all on its own without anything else and put some layers down. So here's some different colors and you can see I've used uh, one, two colors, three, probably a pile anyway, about eight or nine or even ten and put them together. And then I have simply run them through. See that some of them are over just to make them fit, but that doesn't matter. I just watch. Only working from one side. And I'll just take it out and show you. Here's the texture coming through and how exciting it is to break it all up. And here's one um, that I've done before uh, where I've been playing around. And you can see the back part. And obviously, this part needs a bit more. And I just work mindlessly away to create this. And from this, I could cut it and add it as an applique shapes or trap it in behind other things or whatever you like. It's a good way to use up all your little pieces as well as all the other things that you've got. And so here it is coming, here's the wonderful texture. Now I could have hand stitched into that uh, before I, as well, before I did all this, but I haven't in this case. And then I'll show you what happens when, um, what I did with it. I made some uh, cylindras, this is from a, um, um, Margaret, um, uh, the painter, it's from one of her paintings that I worked on. So I've cut the, cut this out as the shapes and used them as applique. And you've just got that lovely little texture that you'll see in plants and so on. Margaret Ollie is the late lady I'm trying to think of. And just to use, reinterpreting her painting in my own way and putting it back down. So that's that one. And then this one here, finally, is... Using the same thing, you can if I lift up the the layers and show you what I've done before. I haven't done it all, but you can see before I've done part of it that I have um, hand stitched through it with uh, heavy woolen thread or some thread that I've got there. Wool's really good, of course, because it fits in. But can you see the texture that comes up when you're working it from the other side? And it's to give the idea of. Uh, perhaps the bush or whatever, but I just love how the little bits of texture come through and all that is is um, Scrim layers of scrim and then I'll just put my bottoms back down to show the hidden the hidden texture in the bush so there's an idea for using um, Scrim which as I said, I just love but especially to use by um Working it onto pre felts which is what I like to do most. And then when I've done it all, this is a, a sort of a sample for a cuff that came at one stage. And I worked it from this side and I've used some wool and yarn 
that I have, which I haven't anymore, and bits and pieces and uh, scraps that I've laid down, but it's all a wool base in this case with the scrim. You can see the color of the scrim. And on the other side, when it comes through, you've got that texture, lovely texture. And then I could, I've done it in strips, but I could cut it up and reuse it. And it's almost like a cuff, one way or the other, depending what you like, or whatever you want to do with it. So I hope that's given you some ideas uh, to keep on going with your embellish it. It's been wonderful this week. I know quite a few people have managed to buy them. And uh, also lots of people say that they're enjoying working on the Embellish Stitch and Rich um, online workshop that I ran. So cheerio, see you again.